All right then gang, so now we've finished making our API. In this video, I wanna test it using Postman. Now this is Postman right here. It's a free program which we can use to help when we're building APIs and we can use it to simulate requests to our server. So I'll leave this link down below so you can download it. You will need to sign up for an account but it is completely free to do so. So once you've done that, just crack it open and we can start testing this. And by the way, you do need to have your server running down here by saying Denon or Dino run. And don't forget to allow read and allow net as well. So you need to have that running in order for this to work because we need to make requests to the server. Okay then, so the first thing I'm going to do is make a get request for all of the books. So right here in Postman, this is the type of request and we can change that. We're going to stick with get for now and this is the URL or the endpoint we're going to make the request to. So we want to go to forward slash books, right? So if we then send that request, we should see a response down here. So send it and we can see this is the response. So these are all the books right here. So that works. We get all three of those books in JSON format. Okay, so now let's try to get a single book. So remember, that's forward slash books, forward slash the ID. So I could say two, for example, and we should get this book right here. So let me send that request. And we do, we get that book right here. Awesome. Um, if I try a different one, so one, we should get the one with an ID of one and three, should be the ID of three, awesome. Okay, so they'll work. What about if we want to add another book? Well, first of all, we need to make a post request. So let's select post, and we want to go to forward slash books for the endpoint. But we also want to send some data along with this. Remember, when we send a post request, we're actually sending data to the server. And we can simulate this by going up here and going to the body tab. And we want to send some data in kind of JSON format. So just click raw right here. And then we want to create this JSON. Now we need a title property. So let me say the color of magic. And then we also need an author. So that is going to be Terry Pratchett. Um, I think it's double T. I really can't remember, but doesn't really matter and the pages is going to be a number remember let's just say 250 and then we can send this by saying send and remember all of this data then is accessed in our code over here if we go to the book controller we can see that we get that data right here on the body of the context that's where we access it all of these three properties from these things right here so if we send that it should add the new book and it should send us back that new book with an id as well because we generate an id for that book so send it and if we scroll this up we can see this is the response we get back so we have that new book now and this is the id for that book so now if i just do a get request for all of the books and send that, then we can see down here, we get all of those books with the new one as well. Okay, so all we need to do now is test the delete handler. So let's choose delete up here. And we need to go to forward slash books, forward slash the ID of whatever book we want to delete. So for example, number three, and press send. And we should get that book back that we deleted. And now if we go to get and try to get all books, and send it now we only get these three back okay so let me also show you what happens if we try to get a book that doesn't exist so for example some random id that doesn't exist send that and we should get no book with that id and also if we try to delete a book with a random id that doesn't exist if we choose delete right here and press send again then again it doesn't work awesome so there we go my friends that is the app done and we've tested each endpoint and they all seem to be working. So then my friends, there we have it. We've reached the end of this short series on Dino, but hopefully now you've got a better understanding of what Dino is and you're going to be in a good position to go out, play around with some more of it and learn a bit more about it too. So I will be doing more Dino tutorials in the future as the ecosystem around it gathers a bit more pace. Maybe I'll do a WebSockets project or something like that next, but until then, I would advise looking through the documentation, maybe playing around with a few third party modules and the standard library a little bit more. That's what I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks as well. And again, this doesn't mean the end of Node at all. I'm still going to be creating a lot more Node tutorials in the future too. 
So then my friends, I really, really hope you've enjoyed this series. And if you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot and it helps out an enormous amount. And if you do want to join the cause and support the channel, you can do by clicking the join button on the channel homepage or underneath the video right down below. You also get a little cool ninja badge next to your name in the comments for that. And it's 99 pence or cents per month. And I've also created several premium in-depth courses on Udemy. So the first one is Modern JavaScript. The second one is D3 and Firebase. And the third one is Vue.js and Firebase. So if you want to take one of those, all the links with the discounts automatically applied to them are going to be in the video description down below. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the very next course.